As a teenager, sex ed came up in conversation with one of my cousins while I was in China. He told me you can't learn about sex in schools. So we went to a library and sneakily read some biology textbooks to find out how babies are made. Really? Is that how? Wow. Anyway, the books must have worked because my cousin has two kids now. It turns out my cousin's experience is fairly typical for many Chinese people. A recent survey from the China Family Planning Association found only half of university students had received sex education at school. And when they do, it's not always helpful. School teachers, they would directly link like early love to pregnancy without teaching them anything about, uh, about contraception, about safe sex, about STD and so on. Chong Lu is about to complete her PhD at Leeds University on sexuality education in China. So if students aren't being taught about sex in schools, where are they getting their info from? So there are many different channels they use to get sexuality related knowledge. For example, novels, for example, like even dictionaries. They even learn it from like pornographies. Porn in China is technically illegal. It seems like people find a way to get around it. Yeah, so in China, many young people would call those porn stars as their sexuality education teacher because they were show them how sex work in a very, very straightforward way. A lack of sexuality education has led some experts to say China has a national problem with sexual literacy. In a 2017 survey of sexual and reproductive health knowledge, high school students only answered every second question correctly. And abortion rates, particularly among young unmarried women, are as much as two to three times higher than in the US. Like sex has always been something that, that can only be talked about very privately. You don't talk about public in a classroom or in a public space. Former UNESCO program officer Hong Yan Li spent more than a decade lobbying to improve sexuality education in China. She says part of the problem is that talking about sex remains taboo. It's partly a hangover from history. Traditional belief systems like Confucianism forbid discussions around sex, and love and marriage were politicized during the Mao era. Even today, nudity is often removed from films, and movies involving homosexuality are censored and often banned. So, rolling out comprehensive sex education for kids in schools has sometimes been met with firm resistance. The Cherished Life, a sexual education textbook for elementary students, covers a variety of sex and relationship issues. This textbook caused a stir in 2017, after a parent posted on social media that even she would blush looking at it. It was deemed by parents to be too explicit, and some accused it of promoting homosexuality because it included a section on same-sex attraction. Many on Weibo agreed. One user said the mating process is absolutely unacceptable. Nonetheless, demand for sexuality education is on the rise. A string of high-profile domestic abuse cases prompted the government to make sexuality education compulsory in 2020 to help kids understand healthy attitudes around sex and relationships. Having the policy in place is one thing, and then having the policy fully implemented is another. There's still a long way to go for the policy to be fully uh, implemented. The government is starting to recognise other practical benefits of sexuality education. The Healthy China initiatives launched in 2019 now incorporates more of UNESCO's comprehensive sexuality education guidelines. And from the awkward conversations come very real benefits. So for each child and uh, young person, um, through sexuality education, they are equipped with essential knowledge, skills and attitudes that can empower them actually to live a life that is healthy and, and also they understand their own rights and the rights of others. So China is still a little prudish when it comes to sex, but things are changing. The new generation now are more tolerant and more open-minded and they are more knowledgeable uh, as well, yes. Um, yeah, it, it's reflected in everywhere, every aspect of life, including in terms of their attitudes towards uh, sex and sexuality. Tiptoeing around the library to learn about sex might soon become a thing of the past. Boy! Can't eat in here. What? 